Hi, I'm divorce and family law attorney Kyle Scoresby. Probably 20 or 30 percent of the time in divorces that we handle, uh, one of the parties, either our client or the opposing party, owns a small business. That business is an asset just like any other asset, a piece of real estate or a vehicle and a bank account. That has to be divided in the divorce. So this video is going to talk just briefly about how a business gets divided in divorce. So just like any other asset, the first thing we need to determine before we can divide up that business is what it's worth. And a business doesn't usually get divided per se. Uh, the spouse that's actually running the business ends up keeping the business, but they need to pay the other spouse half the value. So that can happen in a number of ways. It can happen by allocating additional assets to the spouse that's not the one running the business, or it can be a, a payout, a cash payout from the business owner's spouse to the other spouse. In any case, we need to determine be, uh, to start off with what this business is worth. So typically that requires hi hiring an appraiser to appraise the business. Uh, we're just gonna touch briefly on the three methodologies or approaches business appraisers use to determine the value of a business. One is what we call the asset approach. The asset approach is where the, the appraiser looks at all the, the net assets owned by the business. Could be real estate, it could be accounts receivable, cash on hand, equipment, and that kind of drives the value of the business. The second approach is what we call a market approach. This is what you see with most real estate transactions. You look at comparable businesses and comparable sales of those businesses, and those comparable sales may indicate a value for the business. The third method is called the income approach. That approach attempts to look at the net profits of the business and determine what the net present value is of that future income stream. So if you are in a situation where you are going through a divorce and business division is one of the issues in your case, we hope you'll give us a call, set a consultation with us, we can give you more information.